There is a lot of crap in my garage right now. Okay, so I, I feel I should start this video off with a little bit of an apology. You see, last week on the 30th was my birthday. Stop, stop, no, thank you. And uh, my friend of mine came down from North Dakota and as much as I would like to think that he came down purely for my enjoyment, he didn't. We had some things to do, uh, both on the excursion and on his pickup. And there's stuff over here, I'll be explaining that in a moment. Um, but you see, Wednesday evening there was much rejoicing and the rejoicing followed me into the morning and I wasn't feeling all that great. Uh, managed to get some work done on the excursion. Uh, we did the brakes on the excursion. Yeah, we did the brakes. Front and rear rotors, all of that fun fancy stuff. And we did a rear wheel seal on his pickup. And uh, he ordered a lift kit. That's what all the rough country suspension stuff is for. That's for his truck. No, it's not for the excursion or the F-150. Wouldn't fit either one of them because his truck's a four wheel drive, mine aren't. But today, I'm mainly concerned with what's in this, wait, not this box, uh, th this box, yes, this box. Uh, what's inside of here for today's fun and shenanigans on the excursion will truly shock you. More on that in a minute. Anyway, let's figure out what we got in here. <laughs> See, <laughs> shock, shock. <laughs> okay. Shocking. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that's, a, uh, that's, that's enough of that. Yep. Not just any shocks, Bilstein shocks. Oh, God. I've never had any problems with Bilstein shocks in the past. Yes, they are really expensive, but they're going to make that thing ride like a Cadillac. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to get these up and run this. Buddy. Yes, I got four of them. Oh. Oh, oh look at that, they even sent me stickers in each one. Yeah. Let's go kind of see if we can make sure these are gonna work. Yep, these are gonna work, these are gonna be fantastic. Now, I, I, I put the fender liners back in and I'm gonna take them back out just so I can put the front ones in to make life a little easier on me. So that way I'm not cussing and screaming at, yeah, my hand's getting stopped, cut up and chopped and all that kind of thing. The wind's blowing pretty good today, so I'm probably just gonna do kind of like a time-lapse thing showing me how I do the fronts. The rears are a little harder to get to. I don't know if I'll film that, but I'm gonna have fun with this. Woo can't wait. Oh, and I'm expecting something else to arrive today. That should help steer us in the right direction for the future. So, more news on that later. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, so you can see I still got this fender liner in here, but you, I need to get to a nut up here and I need to get a wrench on the shaft. And there's not a lot of wiggle room there. This is the reason why I'm taking the fender liners out. There's the one for this side. But now, look, look, look at all this swinging room I have to get into that. Plus also the other part I've got coming today, it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to get in there and change that out too. So more on that later. So the new one's in and, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it just even looks better. Oh, yeah. There we go. Driver's side's in. Yeah. Old and busted, fresh and popping. Old and busted, fresh and popping. Okay, you are now joining me at the bottom of the excursion. And we can see here, rear shock, but I want to show you up at the top here. Yeah, can you see what happened there? Yeah, that's some bad news. 
This is uh, part of the reason why I'm changing these out. Let's uh, slide on over to the passenger side here. The exhaust is kind of in the way, but it's not really that bad. But uh, yeah, all I've got left are these two shocks and hopefully this part of the project will be finished and the other part that I'm waiting on hasn't shown up yet, but uh, oh well. Yeah, I don't think this was doing as it was intended to do anymore. Um, yeah. What was that again? Old and busted? Okay, so now that I've looked at the clock and seen what time it is, it's a little past noon and the other part I wanted to put in is not here yet and at this point, if it's not here, then I might as well jump onto something else to do. So I went ahead and put the fender liners back in. New shocks are in. They're looking fantastic. Get down there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. But uh, anyway, I'm going to move on to something else to do, which is this. I'm going to try and get that into that square. Except that square is a little bit smaller than this square. So I got to do some trimming. This ought to be fun. Yay. Oh uh, yeah, now that I'm balls deep into the stereo, this part shows up. Great. Oh well. We'll get this done first. Oh yeah. <laughs> done. Go, still gotta wire everything up. <laughs> Alright, so that's in. Uh, it's actually a bigger pain in the neck than it needed to. I've got the wire for the backup camera running, but I don't have any reverse input for it yet. So uh, I've got a I gotta figure out where it's at either under the dash or run a wire all the way from the reverse lights up here, which is, that's probably what I'm gonna do because it's the easiest. Backup camera's installed. Yeah, I got it running right now. But that was pretty neat. I still gotta, since I don't know where this is looking at, I'm waiting to tighten it up. But, uh, that was tough, <laughs> really tough. But uh, I think that's going to do it for today. We'll probably continue this tomorrow. Later that day. Okay, trying to get this done because the windstorms are coming and it's gonna get really gnarly here in a few minutes, but backup camera is wired up. Power to that backup camera is wired into the rear reverse lamp on this side. RCA cable runs up inside through the body all the way down and up in through the dash. Thanks to a guy named Brandon on the Ford Excursion webpage on Facebook, he told me the reverse signal wires up here in the A pillar somewhere, got that ran down up there and the reverse camera works. So as soon as I get this all buttoned up and back together, I'll show you. Okay, so here we are. It's all back together. I had zip tied and ran wires and all that and everything and got it all working right. And now we just put it in reverse. Boom. Backup camera. Heck yeah, buddy. Oh, and some people are asking if I had to do any trimming around. Yes, there was lots of trimming on the bottom edge here and the top edge here. I left the sides alone for the most part because I got this particular kit and it, it clips on to the side lip inside of this square so if i ever get a chance to do this again on another super duty i'll show you but uh yeah it's done awesome oh and uh another thing for my ford excursion peeps this overhead console you can't really see it right now but uh the overhead console here can you see that yeah, uh, there's supposed to be lights in here that come on. Anyway, uh, they started staying on no matter what, so I took the bulbs out. But if anybody knows where I can get re replacement buttons for these, that'd be fantastic. Let me know. Anyway, I didn't get everything done I wanted to today, but that's all right. There's plenty of time next week. And next week, we'll be installing what's in that box right there. Till then, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. So it's my birthday today and uh, one thing my wife did for me was she got my truck detailed. And what's my neighbor doing? You hear that? You hear the leaf blower? Yeah, he's getting it dirty already for me.